Alicia here with a video about pronunciation. In our Magic Ears classes, it is our goal to teach with the most neutral accent possible. But with so many different accents throughout America, sometimes this can get a little tricky. So today, I would like to walk through some letter sounds and words that can sometimes not really sound as neutral as we may think. Are you ready? Let's go! First, let's talk about the letter N. Sometimes in our classes, when we are introducing this letter sound to our students, we use the pronunciation N. Let's be sure to not add any extra sounds when we are teaching these sounds to our students. Let's use the pronunciation N. Just like when introducing new letter sounds to our students, we want to avoid overemphasizing when we introduce new words to them. Sun, moon, queen. As you can hear, I am overemphasizing the ending sounds on these words, and we should not do this when teaching these to our students. Let's use the pronunciation sun, moon, queen. Now, let's talk about the letter M. When introducing this letter sound to our students, we sometimes may use the pronunciation M. Let's be sure to not add any extra sounds and use the pronunciation M. Here are just a couple of examples of words ending with the letter M. Warm, room. As you can hear, I am adding that extra emphasis on that M sound, and it's really not necessary when teaching these words in our Magic Ears classes. So let's be sure to use the pronunciation room, warm. All right, let's talk about those words that end in I-N-G. A lot of the times when we are teaching, we add an extra emphasis on these letter sounds and we end up teaching the students to say the word incorrectly. Let's take a look at a few examples. Spring, hiking, young, flying, sing. We don't want to add that extra emphasis on that G sound. So when we are teaching these words, let's use this pronunciation instead. Spring, hiking, young, flying. Sing. Now, let's move on to words that have the T-O sound. Sometimes in our classes, we want to add an extra emphasis on the to, like today, tomorrow, octopus. But instead, we should teach our students to have the most neutral accent possible. So let's use this pronunciation when teaching words with the T-O sound. Today, tomorrow, octopus. All right, now let's review just a few more words. Sometimes in our classes, when we are teaching the word breakfast, when we are breaking it down, it sometimes sounds like breakfast. But in our classes, we want to make sure we are using the pronunciation breakfast. Next. Depending on where we are from, we may use the pronunciation about in our classes for the word about. We want to make sure we are using the most neutral North American accent when teaching in our Magic Ears classes. So let's be sure to use the pronunciation about. And last but not least, one word that we sometimes put an extra emphasis on that middle sound is singer. But Instead, we should use the pronunciation singer. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. This concludes this video about pronunciation. I really hope it has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please click Bonnie to subscribe and check out this next video we have for you.